Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. So in today's video, I'll be talking about Microsoft, which is currently hiring for their software engineering explore internship. Uh, they are hiring across multiple locations in India. It will be a fully on-site uh, job location. Your travel will be less than 25% for this. And this will be an internship where you will be contributing as an individual contributor. So as an explorer intern at Microsoft, you will get the opportunity to work uh, and have hands-on experience with various tools and programming languages on um, I mean for software development at Microsoft and you will get to work closely with managers, mentors and you will get to explore core tech disciplines like technical program manager, product manager, software engineer during your 12 week internship. This internship will be uh, happening over a period of 12 weeks or 3 months and this will be happening during summer so this is kind of a summer internship they call it explore internship um, so they have uh, listed a few qualifications that you need to have under the required qualification section they have listed that you should be currently pursuing your bachelor's degree and at the time of enrollment you should be currently in your second year of your four year undergraduate degree so basically you should be a, of batch 2028 when you're applying for this role and um, you should have had an introduction to computer science course uh, at the start of your program so basically you should be having this kind of a subject introductory subject at the beginning of your uh, four year um, graduation course right and in the preferred qualification section they have listed that you should be demonstrating an interest in uh, majoring in computer science uh, software engineering or any other related technical field so these are the qualifications that they have listed uh, so as you can understand that this is uh, um, you're starting from your second year so the hiring process and their qualifications that they have listed is pretty simple um make sure when you're applying for this role if you get a referral it would be great uh, for big companies they have a lot of uh, applications flowing in and they don't have the time to go through every uh, application in detail so if you have a referral you're definitely uh, gonna have uh, more time in that application reviewal process so uh, try to get a referral from a Microsoft employee and even if you don't get it, it's fine because there are several students who get through with their uh, application rounds even if they don't get the referral. But if you get it, it's a bonus for you. And uh, when you're sub submitting your resume, uh, make sure that uh, your application is uh, kind of matching with the description that they've given. For example, in their preferred qualification section, they have listed that you need to demonstrate an interest in majoring in computer science. So you can write something about that. Um, then they have listed, of course, you know that you need to be a 2028 pass out for this role. So definitely uh, mention that clearly that yes, you will be a 2028 pass out. And they've also mentioned that you need to um, have completed the introduction to computer science course so mention that as well um, because your resume will be shortlisted using ATS so they will be capturing these keywords and matching it with the job description so make sure to um, detail your resume out based on the uh, specifications that they have in their job description so moving on to the hiring process that is generally followed by Microsoft for this role. So you will be having two interviews of uh, one hour each. Uh, so starting with your first interview, you will be asked a few behavioral questions. Uh, then you'll be asked um, one or two lead code easy uh, level questions. Um, and then you'll be able to ask uh, your interviewer a few questions that you have for him and uh, that will be your first round moving on to the second round once you get the confirmation again you'll be asked a few behavioral questions followed by a few situation based questions like if you were a software engineer um, 
and you face certain problem uh, then what would your response be so that would be your second round and again you'll be uh, able to ask your interviewer a few questions about the role or the company that you want to ask so uh, these are the two rounds that you'll have to sit for uh, to get the microsoft explore internship so since it is for second year students they have uh, quite an easy hiring process so uh, don't miss out on this opportunity go ahead and apply to have a brand like microsoft in your second year of college is a big thing so don't miss out on that so go ahead and apply before the link expires it won't be open for too long so uh, apply and uh, if you like my content then please like share and subscribe to my channel i do post quite frequently on companies which are hiring for um, internships and job roles especially for college students who are on the lookout for this so go ahead and apply fly and go ahead and subscribe to my channel hope you guys are having a great day see you in my next video